What you're looking at is a 2004 Range Rover L322 M62, and this is the in-tank fuel pump. It's on the uh, passenger side uh, rear seat, underneath the rear seat, and uh, that's the fuel pump assembly. And what you see there is uh, an emergency splice that we did after the factory connector, which is right over here, broke on us. If you look inside there, you might be able to see it. They may look okay, but those, the, those clamps are damaged. And when it's pushed down on a barb connector, it just pops right back out. There's no way to depress these to pull them out. You just have to force them out and they degrade and they break over uh, the long years. So back to the emergency patch job. What that is, is essentially a Dorman 800051 quick disconnect line. It's uh, branded for fixing Fords. It just has a uh, about a 12 inch or 16 inch uh, nylon 5 16 uh, fuel line attached to a right angle quick disconnect, which is also 5 16 and that right there is a Dorman 5 16 uh, push-in clamp splice and uh, Here's the uh, here's the product information We just got this from advanced auto. It's called uh, Quick disconnect a nylon fuel repair kit. That's the part number right there and it comes it comes with a union but you have to have a special tool to use that. And then that gray thing is just to get the, uh, the push down clip off. But it's a very, very quick job. And if you're on the road, it might be a good idea to stock a couple of those unions right there and maybe one or two of these hoses. I would probably stock a, 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 a straight one and a right angle one because down at the fuel filter, you have a couple of straight lines down there as well. But anyways, not really going to trust it to drive it permanently like this, but uh, this should at least get us uh, to the shop. I plan on dropping the fuel tank and probably building custom lines using this uh, Dorman fuel line and those nice connectors. Those connectors, by the way, getting it off is really easy. You push down, I'm not going to show you because the car's running, but you push down on uh, a gray tab on the other side. Probably not going to be able to see it, but it's underneath there. Be able to zoom in on it down in there on the opposite side you push down on that gray tab and then uh, the entire connector just uh, pops right up but as long as you don't touch it it's locked in there but anyways uh, there's not much documentation on this so I hope that helps someone uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, just comment down below all right bye bye